Hi everyone! Do you have any idea about biological technology? That's great! Biotechnology applies to knowledge in biology to enhance and improve the environment, health, and food supply. Using biotechnology, scientists work to develop environment-friendly alternatives to fossil fuels and plastics, new medicines, vaccines, and disease diagnostic tools, and higher yielding and more nutrient-rich crop plants. But how about the applications of biotechnology in our daily life? Come on, join us as we are going to discuss the, the applications, applications of biotechnology in the field of medicine and health, agriculture, industry, and the environment. Science Enthusiast Science Lessons For today's video, we are going to discuss the applications of biotechnology in the field of medicine and health, agriculture, industry, and the environment. Wow! So, what are you waiting for? Let's get started! In medical biotechnology, it can be applied in the following. 1. Diagnostics 2. Therapeutics 3. Vaccines Diagnostics Physicians can now detect many diseases and medical conditions more quickly and with greater accuracy. The time required to diagnose infectious diseases has dropped from days to minutes. Certain cancers are now diagnosed by simple taking a blood sample thus eliminating the need for invasive and costly surgery. Therapeutics Biotechnology will provide improved versions of today's therapeutic regimens. The novel therapeutic advances biotechnology now makes following things feasible. Gene therapy to correct genetic diseases, immunosuppressive therapies, cell therapy to produce replacement tissues and organs, and replacement therapies. Vaccine It is a biological preparation that establishes or improves immunity to a particular disease. The term vaccine derives from Edward Henner's 1796 use of the term cowpox, which, when administered to humans, provided them protection against smallpox. When vaccinated with such a non-virulent microbe, your body produces antibodies to that organism, but you don't get the disease. If you are exposed to that microbe again, your body has a ready supply of antibodies to defend itself. In the field of agriculture, it can be applied in the following. First, plant agriculture. Second, crop production and protection. Third, using biological methods to protect crops. And last, value of crops. Agricultural Biotechnology Modern agricultural biotechnology includes a range of tools that scientists employ to understand and manipulate the genetic makeup of organisms for use in the production of agricultural products. For plant agriculture, as plants are genetically complex, plant agriculture biotechnology lags behind medical advances in biotechnology. An important fact is that animal research has received much more federal funding than plant research. For crop production and protection, biotechnology is also providing farmers with more opportunities to work with nature in plant agriculture. Scientists have discovered 
that plants and animals have indigenous defense systems, the hypersensitive response and systemic acquired resistance. Scientists are developing environmentally benign chemicals that can be used to trigger these two means of defense so that the plants can better protect themselves against attack by insects and pathogens. For using biological methods to protect crops. In addition to capitalizing on nature's negative interactions, predation and parasitism, to control pests, farmers might also use existing positive relationships that are important for plant growth. For example, symbiosis between plants in the bean family and certain nitrogen fixing bacteria. By providing crop plant with a usable form of nitrogen, the bacteria encourage plant growth. Scientists are working to understand the genetic basis of the symbiotic relationship so that we can give nitrogen-fixing capabilities to crops other than legumes. And for the value of crops, the first generation of genetically engineered crops primarily benefited farmers as well as consumers. For example, BT corn sustains relatively little insect damage, and it also infected significantly less often by fungi and molds that produce toxins that are fatal to livestock and harmful to humans. Biotechnology also provides consumers with plant products that are designed specifically to be healthier and nutritious. Healthier cooking oils are being developed. Using genetic engineering plant, scientists have decreased the concentrations of saturated fatty acids in certain vegetable oils. In the field of environmental biotechnology, it can be applied in the following. First, cleaning through bioremediation. Second, preventing environmental problems. And third, monitoring the environment. And that is our science lesson for today. Please like and subscribe.